Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each life path number, the forecast for the new moon that's occurring on September 14th or 15th, depending on where you live within the world. So before we break it down, I just want to mention that this is, of course, a general reading. If you're interested in a personalized reading where we'll take a look at your own personal numerology in a variety of ways, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I would love to work with you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Life path number one. So for this new moon, you all are working with the vibration of the five. This is going to be a five cycle for you. And you're also working with the energy of the B. And so with B energy, let's talk about that first. So with B energy, when I think of B energy, I sort of think of like this life sustaining life force, right? So like without bees, we really wouldn't have life on earth. I mean, there's, they pollinate, they help, you know, everything to grow, our food, our, I mean, just everything. And so it's really like this sort of life enhancing uh, energy that sustains life on this planet. And so um, with this energy coming through, I feel like it's asking you to really take a close look at sort of that within your own world. Like, what is it that you want to be doing or a part of that is sort of life sustaining for you, like in your own world, right? Like, what is it that you want to put your energy towards? Because, you know, bees have a very specific purpose in this lifetime. And I do think with humans, we have sort of that core purpose, but we also have, you know, different things that we have our hands in through how we're inspired, et cetera, et cetera. And that can continue to evolve, right? As we continue to evolve. Um, but I do think that there's sort of this core thing that we're often drawn towards. And so B energy is asking you to take a close look at that within your own life. Like, are you contributing your energy towards your resources towards your time towards whatever that is for you, right? So if it's, um, I don't know, I, you know, if it's a, it's, if it's being a basket weaver, are you, are you moving towards becoming a basket weaver and learning how to do that and being the expert at that and putting your energy towards that? Because that feels like such a strong purpose in this lifetime. Um, or are you putting your energy towards other things and then sort of focusing on the basket making or the basket weaving on the side because you don't see that as a viable um, livelihood or a viable, you know, form of success or whatever. And so with B energy coming through, I think it's just asking you ones to really take a look at your priorities when it comes to what you want, but not just what you want, what feels like such a big part of your life force energy in this lifetime. And you might not know what that is yet. And that's okay. That, that comes, you know, that means you need to explore more and you need to continue to chase those ideas and inspirations that come in for you that light you up. But I do think that there's something here for evaluation to say, where is it that you're stuck in a rut in, in something or moving towards something that just doesn't speak to you, that just doesn't work for you or that doesn't feel aligned for you? Um, where are you sacrificing your true nature, your true gifts, your true desires for something that is more status quo or is more um, conforming? I don't know, right? Because um, we've definitely been conditioned to believe that we're meant to do certain things in this lifetime to be quote unquote successful or to be um, winning at life or whatever. But that goes against sort of the true inner knowing of what it is that lights us up, which what really speaks to us, where we feel we excel, where we feel almost like um, it's more natural for us. Just like the bee is not, you know, the bee is not going to go and try to be a boat maker. I don't know. He's not going to go and try to make a boat because that's not his purpose and that's not where he excels. The bee excels at pollinating and making honey and et cetera, et cetera. And so nature is going to naturally do what it's gifted at and humans are meant to do the same. And so 
I think this uh, new moon and new moons are new initiations, new starts. And so if there's anywhere that you're kind of holding yourself back or keeping yourself from putting your energy towards whatever it is that really, really, really speaks to you or really lights you up because of whatever reason, I think this new moon is going to give you that sort of push that you may need to step out of it uh, and towards whatever that is. You guys are also working with the energy of the five for this new moon. And so again, new moons, new starts, new initiations, planting the seeds, um, <clears throat> trying something new, right? Perfect and right up one's alley. With five energy, the five is going to come in and shake things up, especially where it is again that we're not in alignment or we're not doing what our soul wants us to be doing in this lifetime. So like if we become stagnant or um, sort of too routine in something that's not even really aligned with what it is, because you know, life is short, right? Not to sound cliche, but it is. And so how are you going to use this precious time on earth? Um, because your soul already knows what you're gifted at and already knows like what you're more inclined to be doing. Are you following that and that inner knowing, or are you moving towards what other people have told you is what you should be doing through judgments, through conditioning, through whatever? And there, there's no judgment on that, but this is just an opportunity to evaluate that and ask yourself that question and really feel into it. Because with the five energy coming through, the five comes in and it just kind of pulls the rug on, out underneath our feet, uh, especially in those areas where we're not really supposed to be hanging out. Um, it's going to come, it's going to pick us up and it's going to move us. And where it drops us is more aligned with where it's meant to be that we set roots, right? Or where it is that we invest our energy or whatnot. Uh, and the more we fight that, the more uncomfortable it becomes, the more that we go with the flow and become adaptable and move with it, the more that we unlock the treasures that the five has to show us. So with you ones, this is a lifetime anyway, where you are meant to be the trailblazer, do things your own unique way, be, um, use your ingenuity, um, be the visionary, you know, blaze that new trail. And you can't do that if you're not honoring your innate gifts, if you're not honoring what it is that you feel called towards and at least investigating that. And so the five is going to come in and say, all right, where are you stuck? Let's go ahead and pull you out and shift you. And it kind of with five energy, it's big, fast moving energy. So it can like accelerate the timeline. So it can push you forward in such a way that can feel really, really uncomfortable. Um, but where you land, that's where you're meant to explore. That's where you're meant to, um, take that next step. Right. And in that process, it's often, you know, it's not uncommon in a five cycle for things to fall away that are no longer serving us or where it is that we got stuck. Um, and so we kind of get lifted and we have to say goodbye to that area as we move forward to the next adventure, or to the next experience. This is a shorter cycle. It's only a couple of weeks long, but this could definitely be the start of a new storyline for you all, especially if you're a one who is really neglecting that very like, um, very sort of outside the box, sort of do things differently, um, independent thinking kind of energy. If you're more someone who's trying to fit in the box, <laughs> stay in the box, um, you know, do what is expected of you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you're probably going to feel this, feel this a lot around this new moon, especially with B energy and the five energy. Um, cause the five is just, yeah, it's going to push us to express ourselves in a creative way, in a very open way, in a very freeing way. It's the freedom seeker. So anywhere that we don't have freedom within our own lives, the five is going to come in and make it really, really uncomfortable until either we make a change or this energy comes in like a tower moment and makes that change for us. So lots to think about around this new moon. Great time to initiate something. Great time to plant seeds to kind of reevaluate. Um, those areas of your life where you do feel like they've become too routine or too stuck or too, uh, just mundane. Right. And sometimes there's going to be those areas in our life anyway, and that's fine. Moderation is key, but truly if there's anything where we feel like we're holding ourselves back and we're feeling frustrated or angry or defeated or whatever, there's something to look at there. So big, beautiful, 
energy, potentially with some a lot of transformation. Five energy usually brings, like I said, the shifts and the transformations. Uh, but again, it's always what we do with it that makes a difference. So embody, be energy around this new moon. And yeah, just embrace and lean into what feels more aligned for you and what feels more natural for you. Because I think that's where you'll find your own unique success. So I hope it's a beautiful new moon for y'all. Take care, ones. Bye for now.